Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a requested video and this is just an updated eyebrow routine. It's almost like my last one except this one's filmed in HD so it's just a little bit better in quality. And I use the same products. What I use is my Wet n Wild Brow Kit in Ash Brown. I've had this for so long now and I haven't hit pan because the powder is really pigmented. That's why I really like it. It's also matte and it doesn't have any red undertones. This one is an ash brown color and this is a dark brown color which almost looks black. So it's pretty versatile. If you dye your hair too dark, you can use this and if it's too light, you can use this. And this thing over here is actually wax so on days when my skin's really dry and the powder won't stick to it, I like to just mix it with the wax just so that it becomes a little bit thicker and it sticks really easily. So that's what that's for. So here are my completed brows. I like to keep it really natural and I like for it to match my hair color. And the other side is incomplete. It's really sparse because I over plucked it a long time ago and it never really grew back. So first off, we're going to just comb our hair in place. And I'm using this tool called a spoolie. And I'm just going to brush it. And this makes applying powder much easier. Now I'm going to use my Maybelline Diviner Brow in medium brown and I'm going to draw an outline for my brow. For those of you who don't know how to draw your outline or where your brow should start and end and where the eye should be, then please refer to my very first video where I actually show you. In this video, I'm just going to draw my outline because I know how I like it. And I'm going to extend it out a little more at the end because my eyebrows are really short and I like it to be a little longer. And now I'm going to fill my brows with a matching brow powder and I like my Wet n Wild Brow Kit in Ash Brown. You can use whatever brow powder you have. Make sure that it's matte and not shimmery because the last thing you want are disco eyebrows. So just find one that matches your hair color and then shade it in using the pencil as a guideline. And I just like to do short little strokes keeping it really natural. And I like to feather it on top, but not at the bottom because I like the bottom of my brows to be really defined. Now to define the end of your brows, you want to use a darker eyeshadow color because in flash photography, it does tend to get washed out and it looks like you have half an eyebrow. So I like to get the darker brown color and I apply this to the end of my brow. And finally, I'm going to set my brow with a brow gel. And I like this one because it's a light brown color and it matches my hair, but you can always use mascara if you like. Clear mascara or black mascara. Now this part is optional. If you'd like a more defined, clean look, then just put some concealer on your brush and just clean up the bottom or any powder mess you made. And for me, I like to just apply concealer to the end of my brow to make it even thinner, just because I like it to be thin at the end and thicker at the front. And then what you want to do is just blend the rest of the concealer on your lid so it looks natural. And if you want, you can use a concealer that's a little bit lighter than your skin. It will act like a highlight. So these are my completed brows. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you soon. Bye!